welcome back to OS Racing. Um, today we're doing a Club 100 Academy round, so no racing. It's just um, it, it's just practice sessions. We're at Bayford Meadows, and it's mo if you looked at Shennington, it is much more technical. What Bayford is more technical than Shennington? Yes. Why would you say it's more technical? There's much more corners. And in Shennington, there is um, like four really long straights. A oh, little spin there just to highlight. And here is much more corners. Okay, just a reminder, um, we'd love you to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like the content. We're going to record all of the Club 100 races and all of the Daytona in-cart races. They'll be uploaded, a little bit of commentary from Ollie. If you like it, hit subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next race is going. So tell me a bit more about Bayford Meadows, where is it? Uh, Kent in Sittingbourne, I think. Okay. How long did it take you to get there? Um, two and a half hours, I think. Ages then. Had to get up really early, even though we had, you have to get there at twelve o'clock. I still had to get up at about seven thirty. I was just so tired. So it looks like you're doing well. It looks like some of the drivers are struggling a little bit to kind of carry the speed through the corners, and there's been a few spins. What would you say you liked most about Bayford Meadows? Um. I think the corners were pretty good. Like there were some enjoyable corners. Especially I think we're gonna Yep, so the next corner you go up the ramp, turn and then you go straight down which was quite fun. more about Club 100. Club 100 is a karting championship as you probably know and the fastest they can go is about 55. You can't see it much on this track and it's mostly ba um, based in Kent. Well I think there are, there are quite a lot of races um outside of Kent as well actually um, they travel to a lot of different circuits around the UK but yeah definitely quite a few races in Kent obviously uh, um, you've, you've been here in Sittingbourne to Bayford Meadows you've got Bookmore Park you've got Lid um, but they also do circuits like PFI um, near Grantham I heard that was very good Milton Mill um, just going to stop talking and watch this lap the guy in front who just overtook you Ollie is uh, Rory Hamilton he's really quick I think he was fastest in every session Rory if you're watching this if you find this video please do comment and let us know and share your YouTube channel as well um, it's a pleasure to uh, see you out on track and when you're um, winning world championships don't forget who you raced against at the start of your career That was your fastest lap of the session. Session two. So Club 100, you've sort of explained it's a karting championship um, for the cadets at least. Um, you're in the south of England mostly at the moment. Um, it's worth mentioning the Club 100 has um, it has cadets. It also has super cadets. It also has juniors. Um, the cadets quite a new championship um, for anyone that wasn't aware. Club 100 do that. Um, but they also have adult championships as well, and they race all over. They have um, experienced 
carters there, so um, they do have a lot. Um, in terms of starting a Club 100, Ollie, do you need your own car? Uh, no. You, it's um, basically an arrive and drive, but costs more. But it costs more than a corporate car in circuit for sure, but um, it's a lot cheaper than owning your own car. Um, a lot cheaper. And you don't have to worry about prepping the car or transporting it anywhere. I've heard quite a lot of about corporate carts, but I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Incart is a corporate cart venue. So corporate carts, a little bit less powerful, especially than these. Do you know what engines are in the Club 100 carts? Uh, I remember. remember it. I remember... I forgot what it's called. Uh, they're two-stroke. They're two two-stroke raw tax engines. They're really quick. They're really quick. Um, and, and put them in a cadet cart. Um, if you're... Um, if you're between the ages of, I think, 8 and 12 um, for the cadets and the super cadets, you're going to have a lot of fun with those engines. I think um, at Bayford I did see people that looked more like uh, 15, 16. Yeah, so we definitely they have the juniors running, and actually it was the f it was the first race of the season in the juniors. So we're on session three. There's four sessions in the academies. This is the last of the academies. The next race coming up is at Buckmore Park, and that will be a race weekend. So we'll get our first test championship. Guy in front is Harry Bell. Uh, you can find him on Instagram. Uh, he's also very quick. We've raced Harry Bell here. We've raced him in in car. Level of competition in Club 100 is really mixed. Um, looking at the four sessions, uh, results wise, you were second in your group on the first session, but then a few other drivers got a bit quicker throughout the day, so I think you dropped down to about seventh at, by the end of the day out of 20 drivers in your group, uh, and I think there were 40 overall out. So, you know, if you've um, if, if you've not done a lot of karting before. Don't be afraid to turn up at Club 100. Um, I think for the cadets, you do have to do the academy session just to get an assessment, make sure that you are safe, mostly. Um, that's the most important thing, that everyone uh, drives safely. It's not all about the lap time speed and lap time come with practice. So yeah, really good competition out there. Quite excited for, the, for actually getting to the first race. Um, it'd be good to, it'd be good, now we've done two academies. Yeah, as I say, this is, uh, this is a highlight reel because it's, it's just a practice. There was, there was no actual racing, although, um, you put a, a carter or a racing driver in a car on a circuit and they'll uh, they'll go for positions anyway regardless of whether it's a race um, but from the next session we'll uh, the, the next videos will be will be of the race but we'll keep an eye on the positions and all that kind of wonderful stuff tell you a bit more about the circuit coming into the last session now of the day this is yellow flags that's why I'm not going too fast it's also an outlap, so it doesn't really matter. So if someone's watching this and they haven't carted before, what does the yellow flag mean? 
Uh, yellow is slow down. Green is go back to racing. Red is go to a controlled stop. Or what other people do is go to the outside of the track and then stop. What else on a yellow flag? So you've slowed down anything else you need to think about in a yellow flag? No racing and don't overtake. Let's get Oh, there's one thing I missed about Club 100 and that is that uh, oh yeah you've got to do your own cart stuff so you don't so like they the marshals don't do it for you you've got to move all the pedals and seat inserts and stuff like that in yeah, Harry Bell just slid through you there Are you going to get beside him you have a messy exit but uh, this is session four. This is session four. Yeah, it's a good point. Parents have got to help at Club 100 uh, and get you ready. Um, the racing's quick and fast, the sessions come quick. You need to be ready to go out. It's when one group is out. Actually, no, when the cadets come in, the other group of cadets get in and start getting ready while the juniors are out. Or super cadets? No, super cadets were on a different session. You were out with the juniors. Oh. So it went cadet, junior, cadet, junior, cadet, junior. Coming towards the end of this session, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the montage of um, little clips of either Ollie overtaking or being overtaken. Or someone spinning. Hope the information is useful. We'll try and throw a little bit of that in just to give a bit of an idea if anyone finds a video like this and they're, they're, you know, they're looking to maybe come into something like this for the first time. Or maybe they're thinking about doing the cut, you know, if you haven't done any karting before, um, the corporate karting scene or, uh, you know, somewhere like Team Sport indoor karting, very accessible, very easy for someone new to it to go and just get a taste and see if they, if they like it before kind of committing to something a bit bigger. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Why not? We'll be uploading all of the race videos, so... Um, keep an eye out for those Club 100 races are roughly a month apart in carts a bit more regularly with Daytona we'll be uh, continuing to put the videos up from that give you a little bit of commentary along the way